Could the solution to our obesity epidemic be as simple as popping a pill? Anybody who's more than a few kilos overweight could potentially take this drug. A lot of pharmaceutical companies are going very hard to try and find pills for obesity and the reason is pretty clear. Obesity is very common and people are looking for magic bullets. There's no wonder people are looking for a magic bullet to get slim. Let's face it, losing weight is hard work. And drug companies are not the only ones jumping on the weight loss bandwagon. The obsession to be thin has spawned a whole new genre of reality TV shows. After trying everything to lose weight, Adro Sarnelli, in desperation, resorted to the reality TV show The Biggest Loser. So how much did you weigh at this point? Uh, at the, this was at the beginning of the, the show, so I was about 136 and a half kilos. And then how much weight did you lose? Uh, during the course of the show, I actually lost 52.3 kilos and, wow. and finished up the show at, uh, at 85 kilos. Wow, that's an amazing weight loss. It, oh it's not easy. It, it wasn't easy and you know, there's no, no such thing as a free lunch. Adro was successful, but for many others, the message about achieving weight loss through regular exercise and healthy eating is clearly not getting through. That's why people are turning to diet pills. But according to Professor Boyd Swinburne, most of them have side effects. For example, blocking fat absorption that has a bit of a problem with uh, diarrhoea and, and fatty stools if too much fat is eaten. A lot of other drugs that try to affect appetite, of course, have to affect the brain. And once you start playing around with chemicals in the brain, then there's a lot of side effects as well. Researchers from around the world are exploring new ways to eliminate these side effects. One group in Melbourne is trialling a new drug based on the human growth hormone. It's one in a new revolution of drugs that actually burns fat. As a weight loss drug, a large part of the human growth hormone has unwanted side effects in adults. But by removing most of it, they're left with the part of the hormone that burns fat. And this is what they harness into a pill. What the drug does is to bind directly to the surface of the fat cells and alter the way they metabolise fat when uh, you put an energy demand on your body. Human trials showed a two kilogram weight loss in 12 weeks. Does that mean you don't have to exercise with this drug? The likelihood is that this drug works better if you're on a bit of a diet and exercise program. And what this will do will help you lose more weight than you otherwise would. The drug is still in clinical trials, but if all goes well, it should be available in about five years. But this isn't the only new fat-busting drug being tested. Here at the Baker Heart Research Institute in Melbourne, an even newer drug is being developed. It also burns up fat, but unlike human growth hormone, it mimics some of the effects of exercise. Exercise increases a chemical in the blood that turns up fat metabolism, and this new drug claims to do the same. The research here is still at an early stage, and many of the results so far are based on work with mice. We basically did an experiment where we made them obese, just like an obese human. We placed these animals on a very high fat diet. We then treated these animals with the drug and we were able to pretty much prevent obesity in the animal. You can see that it's uh, elevated more in the obese animals. So Is that a surprising result? They were very exciting for us. The fat pad of the animal put on the high fat diet but treated with the drug was the same weight as the animal on the vegetarian normal diet. Whether this drug proves successful in humans still remains to be seen.
It's arguable that drugs have an important role to play in treating obesity, but does that mean we can simply throw away our gym memberships and just pop a pill to keep in shape? A pill can make you lose a bit of weight, I'm sure, but it can't help your self-esteem grow with the fact that you're beating that demon. I mean, I'm top of the world every single day now because I beat something that was beating me for 22 years of my life. There aren't going to be any magic bullets for the obesity epidemic, period. And exercise is there and it's available and it's free.